What up, ladies and gentlemen? Markel Fultz here, NBA player for Tarver Academy. TarverAcademy.com. Hey, hey, just kidding. My name's Tyler. Um, today we are doing a bell ringer, and it's a good one. It's a good one, and this is one that you will definitely see a version of on your ACT or any other test you're taking. So let's take a look at it. You give it a shot, and then we'll work it together. It says if 5x plus 3 equals 10x minus 17, then what? is x okay pause the video give this a shot and then we'll work it together Here go all right cool good job so um all i'm doing is i'm trying to find out what is x so i'm going to write the problem 5x plus 3 equals 10x minus 17. what i've got here is your standard multi-step equation Okay, and so what I'm going to do is my goal with anything where I'm trying to get a variable, which is x, by itself, um, I essentially want to get all of the numbers away from the x. Okay, so before I can do that, I have to combine my stuff that is similar. So I got to get my 5x and my 10x together, got to get my regular numbers together, and then I can get that last step. So I always like to start with the x. I like to start with the stuff that has the variable. Okay, you don't have to, but this is the way I like to do it. So what I want to do is I want to get my x's on the same side of this equal sign. I want to get them on the same side, either over here or over here. I always recommend getting the smaller one to the other side. Okay, it just makes it easier because you're not dealing with negatives. All right, so I want to get my 5x over here. So what I want to do is I need to take it away from this side. So I'm going to subtract 5x, okay? And the reason is, is to get rid of it, 5x minus 5x is zero, right? That would cancel it out. Now, here's the deal. A math rule says, that's very official, a math rule. A math rule says, if you subtract it from one side, you have to subtract it from the other side as well. If not, you're changing it. So we gotta subtract 5x over here as well. Now, what's 10x minus 5x? Well, what's 10 minus five? It's five, okay? now. A lot of people mess up right here. They'll be like, oh, well, I've subtracted the x's, so the x is gone. No, the variable is still there, okay? All it does is subtract the numbers, okay? Now, I'm going to bring everything else down because I don't need to forget about it. I've got a positive 3. I've got my equal sign, 5x, and then negative 17. Now, I've got my x's over here. I've chosen my side for my x's. It's on this side of the equal sign. So I need to get my numbers that are over here over to this side. So I need to get this over here. So how do I get rid of a negative 17? Well, I gotta make it zero. So to get rid of 17, well, sorry, if you're subtracting 17, the opposite of that would be adding 17. So I'm gonna add 17 to both sides. Negative 17 plus 17 is zero, right? So that cancels it out. Oh, almost lost my marker, <laughs> my bad. All right, so three plus 17 is 20. Bring down my equal sign, my five X. Last step, to get rid of that five, I've got to do the opposite of what is happening. It's five times x. So the opposite of multiplying times five would be, that's right, it's dividing. So I divide both sides by five. x now equals 20 divided by five is four. And that is my answer. And I feel pretty confident that's what all of you guys put because you're super on point. So that's how we got it. Hope you guys understood. If not, I've got plenty more videos on that at tarveracademy.com or on this YouTube channel. And by the way, while you're here, why don't you subscribe? That'd be great. I mean, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> but uh, hey, that's enough. Hit them with the outro.